Hey y'all. Just wrapping up, finishing my beautiful Hoover. The poor baby had to be gutted and puked its guts out. But, you know, it is what it is. And the last thing I have to do is vacuum out these disgusting filters. This is the HEPA filter. And this is the filter that goes in the top. Ew. I forgot to say a shout out to our girl, B Detailed. That's who we're listening to in the background. When you can hear it. Because... Lord knows that this mommy vacuum I'm using, because it's a champ, um, is really loud. So, shout out, be detailed, you are a rock star. gross how bad these things get. So this is a little unorthodox for the way I typically do things, but there's sand all over the table. You probably can't see it, but it's there, I assure you. So we're going to do a tiny mess test on the table. Hoover. Yes, I got it out of the hospital, my little shredder. So let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
We'll go ahead and empty it out. I don't know if you heard me, but I said, yes, I did cut up my pencil top erasers. problem. There we go. I do not want to risk hurting any of my vacuums again and I do believe those pencil top erasers that might have been one of my main issues so we'll do this one more time but now you can see all the sand that was on the table. truth about my dirty girl mix is like I was saying in a previous video all everything that has natural dirt got dumped in including some of my original very first mix but it was just packed full of natural dirt so it got dumped in here too that's just part of consolidating since my mixes got out of control and with that being said we are gonna do a little 
playing with my Dirty Girl mix. in there. Now to finish up with a little actual vacuuming. If you haven't already, get your crunchy munchies. It's not going to be the most crunchy video, but there will be some crunch. It's mostly uh, natural and a cleanup from me working on the Hoover and just showing how the Hoover's doing now that I've fixed it.
That's what we got, folks. Oh, all right. All right. I'll do a canister empty and do it one more time.
I know, I'm so funny. too fast. The canister empty, I mean. But after fixing on it, getting it working again, and all that other good stuff, I'm tired. And I did learn a lesson. Too much of a good thing can be bad. I'm going to have to figure out how to not use so much of a good thing and add more of another good thing to my mixes and make it not quite so crunchy. And again, listen to your vacuum if it's making weird noises. It's trying to tell you something. So, y'all have a great day or night, whenever it is you're watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I have a couple of faithful followers, and I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm doing everything I can to keep pushing forward. I know my floors are gross. I know I don't have the best vacuums. And I'm even down a couple of vacuums because, like I said, I fix them and give them away. I'm hoping at some point I'll be able to get new vacuums and really tantalize your taste buds. In the meantime... I hope you're enjoying my mixes, and I'll never leave you if you don't leave me. Half of my heart for half of y'all's. Make some noise, be heard, be seen in this world. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, share. I need to get out there more. And comment those comments mean the world to me comment 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 talk to me what can i do for you guys what can i do to make my videos better what do y'all want to see talk to me <laughs> be good y'all